Here's why they cut silver short, mind-blowing. With people dumping their silver, cashing out, this is the time to lean in and figure out what is going on that is causing people to cut silver short. Let's start. But people are always gonna say, what about comparing it to the S&P 500 or the stock market? Silver Heist shows us that we are following the wrong metal. We need to stop comparing silver to gold. He does this by highlighting the frightening reality for stacking precious metals. He compares gold, not silver. Rather, he compares the price of gold in 1988 to other investment options and ouch, gold did not compete. It did not even come close to competing. This is the first way that silver gets cut short because we all think, we all watch the price of gold and we all think silver will follow the same pattern. Well, Silver Heist takes the time to show us that even if gold did not compete against his perfect example, I won't tell you everything. You need to check out the entire video. Just know that gold did clearly hedge against inflation. It did. The video is titled, Man Buys Ounces of Gold in 1988, Then This Happened. Silver Heist tells us to stop dumping our precious metals and stick it out just like Rota Ruta. I questioned him on the, um, the changing of the numbers, the changing of the Silver Institute historical numbers. And he said, oh, we change the numbers all the time. That's road to Ruta, and nobody knows the long game of precious metals like this guy. He has the historical data. He knows it like the back of his hand. And he shows us the price of silver has been suppressed, continues to be suppressed. And he talks about the history of silver price in ways that we can all understand. This is my go-to video of the week. After you watch this, you will feel confident in the future strength and price of silver. The video should stop everyone from cashing out because Ruta Ruta lays out the problem of price suppression and it is something that can be stopped. The video is titled Silver Alert, so the Silver Institute wants to be on our side. Let's help them with math. If you're still on the fence about the importance of stacking silver, if you're one of the many people cashing out your silver, then check out Lena Petrova. They will work on reducing the carbon footprint in everything that they do from, and listen to this, from banknotes to how they supervise banks. Lena Petrova shows that central banks are promoting the idea of a digital currency by telling us that one of its many benefits, sit down for this one, a benefit of central bank digital currency is that banknotes are bad for the environment and switching to CBDC will reduce climate change. This video shows, as the title suggests, 90% of banks are at risk and cashless society is inevitable. Lena poses a frightening question. If 90% of banks are at risk, and these are small banks she's referring to, if 90% are at risk, then what happens to the banks when they fail? And what happens to the depositors' money? Check out Lena Petrova's full video, and I guarantee you will see that stacking silver is the smartest long game. And for everyone out there cashing out their silver stack, dumping their silver, do everything you can to keep your silver for the long haul.